unboxing my Coachella tickets for 2019 and um, I will be showing y'all how to activate your wristbands and just everything that comes in the box and then I also want to give a few tips on um, a few of the things that you can take uh, for car camping because we will be car camping this year so I kind of want to just give you a little bit of tips on what to bring and what not to. I did go last year and uh, I did learn basically what we really need and you know things things that I didn't take that I wish I would have taken. So um, we will be more prepared hopefully this year. But yeah, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so this is uh, the box. For Coachella 2019 tickets. It's very pretty, the sunset, very cute, you know. And my box got a little kind of squished because long story. But anyways, so this is how it looks on the inside. So this right here is actually one of the buildings that they have at Coachella. It's pretty cool. It's like really tall and you kind of like spiral stairs that you go up and like the whole glass in there. Well, each level uh, is like a different color, like basically the way you see it here. So it's a really nice building to take pictures in. And uh, they have AC in there, so kind of like a good place to go get a break from the, from the heat. And then, so then we have, um, I, mine comes with two wristbands for me and my friend. Uh, let me see if you can. Okay. Okay, so with my box, uh, the two tickets that I just showed you, and it also comes with this uh, Coachella. No, it's just like focusing. Please excuse my nails. I broke a nail, but um. Oh, it says Coachella coin. I'm gonna focus. That's cool. Okay, so the next thing that comes included in my Coachella box are two shuttle passes. I don't know if we're gonna use them though because, um, like I say, we are car camping, but maybe if we wanna catch a break from being outside too long, we might take the shuttle. Maybe go out to, I guess, I'm not sure. I didn't, I've never done the shuttle. So wherever it does take us, I guess take like a lift from there to like go to a restaurant or something to go eat, you know, catch a break from all that craziness, you know? So I don't know if we are gonna use them or not, but you know, it does come in handy. The next thing that it comes with is, like I said, we are car camping. So it comes with this car camping pass that's gonna go uh, on your windshield so that's why it looks backwards but once you like stick it on it'll show car camping and this is basically like you know your sticker to get your car into the parking lot and then it comes with this Coachella like a uh, sticker to put on your car something nice and cute and if you can see it so once again backwards but once you stick it on the car it, you know I know, I know. And then it comes with this um, festival guide and it just shows like all the artists that are gonna be playing that week, that weekend. And um, yeah, basically. And then um, it does come with like kind of like a little puzzle. Last year the one I had was, I haven't even put it together honestly, but it's a bunch of little puzzle pieces and I guess it, you know, makes, I want to say one of the buildings from Coachella but uh, this year it came with like a bunch of these pieces I'm not quite sure how they go I haven't attempted to put it together but it did look it does look like it's a calendar you can see. yeah it looks like it's a calendar okay so now I'm gonna show y'all how to 
um, how to activate the wristbands. I'm only activating one of them, the one that is mine. Um, my friend will just have to do this on his own. But I'm gonna insert if I can, if I know how to, I will be inserting a uh, kind of like a screen recording of what I'm about to do right now so y'all could see step by step how to activate it. So let me screen record now. So we're gonna open up the Coachella app and just in case, just in case, I don't know how to put it, that's the Coachella, Ooh, the Coachella app. You download it under Coachella. So once you do that, um, you're gonna go to, it's like on the upper left hand corner, it's like a little tab, you're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna click on the one that says activate. Oh look, there's a button that says Coachella coin, so that might explain what this whole thing is, but well, don't wanna jump ahead on that. So we're gonna click on activate. So now Coachella, it says activate your wristband. You will need the six character code located on the back of your wristband. Which for mine is, gotta open it. Mm. The code is right here. <laughs> so, I, 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 don't, I don't know if that would really do anything, but the code is behind this little thing that says the general admission. So then you click on continue, and then uh, it'll give you the option between first weekend and second weekend, but we will be going to first weekend. And then you enter the six character code. I'll enter it right now. Then I will enter my email address. Then my first name, my last name, phone number, birth, and all that. So. Once you do all that, you're gonna click on I accept terms and conditions, and then I'm gonna click submit. So I'm gonna stop the screen. I'm gonna stop the screen recording right here, so I can enter my information. I don't want all my stuff out there, you know. So let's do that. Just kind of you. Okay, so now it just shows your wristband is activated. Your wristband must be worn at all times while at the festival. Please make sure you're wearing your wristbands prior to entering the festival grounds. So I'm gonna put this out there. My dumb self last year, I was like too excited to put on the wristband as soon as I got it and I like put it like you know to what my size was not thinking that this thing doesn't move back afterwards so please do not make that same mistake just wait till you get there to put on the wristband don't get too excited like I do okay so yeah my wristband is activated and that's pretty much it it's really easy so now once you do that they'll send you like emails and notifications prior to Coachella and Yep, so now we're gonna go over. Ugh, sorry. I'm gonna try not to mix these up with my friends, so. I don't you know, mix them up. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going over the things that you may or may not need for car camping. Um, these are just some of the things that I noticed last year where I was like, dang, I wish I had these. But uh, this year, we're going to be prepared. I hope so. But I feel like every time, you're always going to be missing something. But let's just hope we at least have at least most of the stuff. So, um, yeah, I will show y'all. I have kind of everything spread out right here. So I will show y'all. I might miss a couple of things because I don't have them in hand right now. Okay, so uh, first thing... First things first, the number one thing for me at least 
is a first aid kit. A first aid kit comes in handy. I know I don't have it with me right now, but it does come in handy because it comes with band-aids and everything like just of any type of accidents. My thing last year was um, the shoes that I was wearing. Um, I guess just walking around all day, it does, well, depending on what shoes. I wasn't smart enough to take the most comfortable shoes, but yeah, so it was kind of uh, scraping the back of my, um, my the back like well, back and the side of my ankle so i wish i would have had band-aids it would have been a complete uh, story and you know just anything disinfectant wipes all that comes in handy uh, number two i'm not even gonna say numbers because i'm gonna lose count in my mind. So, next thing um is of course toilet paper you're gonna need toilet paper because they don't provide well i could be wrong but since there's so many people obviously not everyone will get a toilet paper if i guess they do have some at the porta part porta potty but yeah so they have those and um i would suggest just bringing your own paper towels no toilet paper scratch that next is paper towels these you'll just need them just um look just for anything, um, like I said, um, since we're hard camping, um, we're gonna get food and like have it in the tent. So just napkins come in handy just to clean ourselves or anything. Um, next, I have um, kind of like, well, they do recommend to bring like sanitizer, but sanitizer to me, like, I don't know. I feel like it's, if you just, you know, it, it doesn't really do much. Kind of feel like you're like spreading the germs so i got these this year it's like a germix but white bees so maybe that'll be a little more different and they're soft cloth so they shouldn't they should be good for the hands my next thing is bug spray to be honest this isn't something we really need but i'd rather have it you know better safe than sorry and the one we got is wet wet resistant so yeah just in case you know then we got some chapstick well not chapstick but kind of like a uh, I don't know what you would call this one I guess just like lip moisturizer so your lips will get chapped out there it's windy and cold it's it's so dry out there so yeah your lips will get chapped so better to have this in hand you know so um next thing we have is um sunscreen you got sunscreen and it's 100 spf you gotta get that good stuff you know and um it is sweat proof as well stays on stronger when you sweat so definitely a good one. Uh, we got the small bottle so we can take it inside of Coachella as well. Um, so yeah, make sure that if you do get sunscreen to get um, the lotion kind because they don't let any aerosol, aerosol into the building, any liquids, all that. They'll make you dump it out, throw it away. Um, next thing we have is Pedialyte. So we got the, like, the adult version. It's for kids and adults. Pedialyte, and um, we're basically just taking this just in case of anything. Like I said, better safe than sorry. Um, in case of dehydration or hangovers, you know. So next thing is tissue. I know we can use the toilet paper, but I brought these because they're like the little mini packs that you can take, you know. Uh, so just to pop in our backpacks and like just inside if we get allergies. For whatever reason that we may need tissue we got it and um yeah there's so much dirt in here these will come in handy trust me so with that being said um i also recommend a bandana 
I know a lot of people don't want to take bandanas only because, oh, it's going to ruin my outfit, this and that. But, you know, you'll always find a way to everything. I, was, I kind of thought the same thing, but then I thought, um, I can probably find something cute that won't ruin my outfit. So, I bought these bandanas and they're silk. So they're silk, so it won't ruin my outfit. It's one plain color, works out. I got it in white as well. You'll see how it matches my outfit. Yeah, uh, sorry, camera cut off, but yeah. So um, yeah, I suggest bringing one of these because last year at the end of the day, at the end of the night, you feel like your nose is so stuffed. You feel like, you, like you're just coughing nonstop and it's because of all that dirt that clogs your nose up and like you basically breathe it in you eat it whatever i don't know but these are going to come in handy this year so next thing um well with bandanas actually um so the guys um that were that are coming with us they found these actually really cool things yeah well so basically, it's a uh, you get it. It's the one. It's kind of like those towels that you get wet and they get cold. Well, they keep you cool, but it's like a bandana version. You can use it like a bandana. You can use it in multiple ways. So it comes in handy. And this is what they're gonna be using. So they get a bit of both of everything, like protecting from the dirt and keeping cool. So that's that, and then we, as uh, us girls, obviously we can't wear those because it will ruin our makeup if it's wet, obviously. So we did get just like a normal towel. These come in handy. This is my dog, sorry. These come in handy, um, you can just take them in your backpack. At Coachella, they have those water uh, things where you can fill up your water bottles in them. You can just get one of these wet, uh, wet and, and uh, yeah, just put it around your neck. Whatever, about yourself. I didn't bring this last year. I wish I would've brought this last year, but this year I'm gonna be prepared. Um, of course, Tylenol. Bring Tylenol. Like, I cannot stress how much this came in handy. Like, I finished the whole, we finished the whole, not, it was a smaller bottle than this, but we did finish it because you waking up in the morning with a headache, the music is so loud, you know, you just, just multiple things that'll cause headaches. Let's just put it that way. So that was kind of handy. We also bought eye drops because, like I said, dirt, wind, it'll get in your eyes and you'll have irritation, all that stuff. So we're gonna be prepared. Um, so like I said, since we are going car camping, um, another thing we bought is this fan to have inside of our tent. We bought four of them. Um, our tent is pretty big. It uh, fits two queen size beds in it. So um, we're gonna kind of just have it like spread around the tent. So we bought four of them. We also got four lanterns. It's kind of easy. You can get these on Amazon. It was really cheap. Uh, it come, it came with four for 25 and I believe it comes with the batteries. It could be, yep, it comes with the batteries already. So I'm gonna show you these real quick. So they're very small, but they are very bright. So it's these, let me just pull them and, and the, they're very bright, like I said. It has the batteries, but. I'm not gonna mess with them right now, but yeah, these I recommend. Like I said, they're on Amazon, four for 25, which is not bad at all. Um, so yeah. And of course, um, last year was a struggle because uh, we wanted to shower every single day and it was so hard to do that because everybody wants to take a shower and so who knows how many people there are there. And so we did have to wait two to three hours almost every single day just to take a shower and this year that's not gonna happen so this year we bought um, a shower tent 
myself. Hopefully this resolves all issues. I might be wrong, but it doesn't hurt to try. I did see a lot of people with it and I was like, I wish I would've had that. I wouldn't be waiting out in the sun and getting burned and all that, you know? And of course, it doesn't come with the, the shower bag. So this is it. It's a five gallon. So it should be enough for a, maybe two people. I, I don't know, depends on how long you take a shower. So. And so they do have like a, where you can fill up your water bottles and all this stuff. Hopefully those lines aren't long too. I do have this portable outlet that connects inside the car. So anybody that wants to bring their curling iron, uh, you know, blow dryer, which I doubt you're gonna want that, but a curling iron, flat iron, any of that stuff that you wanna plug inside your car that's an actual outlet, um, you can, it comes in handy. I had it last year. I was able to curl my car. I would turn my car on, turn the AC on, do my makeup, curl my hair. Everything was good, had no issues. You can find it on Amazon. Um, I'll try to link it if I do find it, or I'll put it right here. Last but not least, I am taking my camera, and so anybody that is deciding to take their camera and everything, I would suggest taking like a battery for each day because you won't have anywhere to charge it. And so I did buy two, plus the one I have on the camera right now. Um, I got them on Amazon as well, so I will be testing them out to see if they are gonna work but um, they will be fully charged and I will use one a day and hopefully it all works. Okay, one last thing that I forgot to mention to also bring is your toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, clothes, shampoo, all that important stuff, all the necessity that you need, bring that most important stuff and makeup. That's basically um, some of the stuff that'll come in handy, obviously pillows, blankets, your mattress um one tip i will give is if you are traveling because we are driving from texas to california so um last year we took the food in the car and like it, it was just a big mess if i would have known that there's a bus over there that takes you to the grocery stores i would have just done that from the beginning so this year we're gonna do that once we get there we'll take the bus go get some groceries and just have it in our tent we are gonna take a cooler and you know have ice they do sell ice but it is kind of expensive so i would suggest to go to the grocery store and buy that and buy the ice thank you guys for watching this video i hope everything i've said it was informative um like i said these are some stuff you may or may not need but like i said better to be safe than sorry and have this stuff you know than not to have it and then be like dang i wish i would have brought it but yeah so i will see y'all in my next video and i will be in coachella by then so before i forget please subscribe to my channel and also like this video and i will really appreciate it thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all have a good day and i will see y'all soon bye